Yeah, you know, one of the things, that we, one of the reasons we started our blog was because when Noah was born, our OBGYN, she, uh, the first thing out of her mouth was, I'm so sorry. And she painted this picture that our life was going to be really sorry and really sad, that we had just entered this really sad story. And so, you know, we decided to show the world that our story wasn't sad. It wasn't this really sad story that people were painting. And I think a lot of people, like my wife said, they just, they're just uneducated. They don't know a lot about Down syndrome. And so we really hope that all this awareness, this media attention, shows like Glee, that it really just helps the public see the kids like Noah, Ryan, and there's thousands of kids out there. Like on our Facebook page, you can see thousands of kids that are just living a life, just having a ball, living life. And having fun. And having fun. Yeah, I, I, if we could pop up some more of the home videos and we could watch those as, as, we're, as we're talking here tonight. Um, Abby, are there, you know, when, when, if you go out in public or you're, with, you know, with other parents and their children, is there, is there awkwardness? Is there, is there a way for us to get rid of any awkwardness if it's out there? You know, that, that's what I want this segment to be about. Just, you know, let's, let's put it out there and let's say, you know, how should we interact? And, and I know the answer is we should interact like anyone else, but people don't. Is there a way to sort of diffuse if there's any sort of apprehension or awkwardness in social situations? The majority of parents I know are more than willing to answer questions. And so if someone is uncertain or unsure, the majority of parents will be more than happy to talk about their child and, you know, what's going on. And just having that open discussion, instead of giving them pity, we, none of us want to hear pity or I'm sorry this happened to you. We want to talk about how awesome our child is, what they're doing. And, I think just being willing to ask questions to a parent, if you don't know how to talk to their child or if you don't know how to play with them, just ask. And usually it's just like a typical child and you can get on the floor That's and what play I and talk. Hey, why yeah, don't we do so this? I mean, why don't we do this? Rick, tell me some of the great things that Noah's doing now. Man, Noah's doing a lot of really great things. I mean, he's, you know, he's, I don't know if you can see him here. He's 13 months old. He is starting to uh, stand up on his own, pull himself up. He is starting to try to learn to talk and make sounds and smile and play. And um, we just got back from New York, so we had a ball hanging out in New York and looking around. And he's just, just being a 13-month-old baby, you know, cuddling a lot and giving hugs. Hey, speaking of hugs, I I'm sorry, but I make all parents and children on my show do this. You got to give every everyone, I, I need a big group hug right now. I need to see a big group okay, hug. We'll get, we'll get a group hug. There's a group. Look <laughs> at that. Oh, fantastic. Hey, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. All the best to you, and keep on blogging, Dad. Thanks a lot.